Hey players, so I have an update on Jessica Ross and her lawsuit against Southern Regional Medical Center in Georgia. The medical examiner has came back and ruled her baby's death a homicide. As previously reported, Jessica Ross filed a lawsuit against Southern Regional Medical Center after her baby was decapitated during birth. Let's get into what we have. So as previously reported, according to the lawsuit, Jessica Ross and Travion Taylor, her boyfriend, went to the hospital because her water had broke. It was time for her to give birth. She was nine months pregnant. According to them, when they arrived at the hospital, she labored for a little while. And then Dr. Tracy St. Julian allegedly tried for hours to deliver her child vaginally. Shortly after midnight, the decision was made to perform a cesarean section and the infant's body was delivered. According to the lawsuit, the head was delivered vaginally. The lawsuit alleges that Dr. St. Julian did not tell Jessica or her family about the decapitation when she spoke to them at approximately 5 a.m. on July 10th. The lawsuit also claims that the hospital discouraged Jessica Ross and her baby's father from seeking an autopsy. They told them that the autopsy was not free under their circumstances. They reportedly encouraged the couple to have their son cremated instead of being sent to the hospital. Now, when Jessica and Travion demanded to see and hold their child, the baby was reportedly wrapped tightly in a blanket with his head propped on top of his body to conceal the fact that he had been decapitated. They were ultimately told about the baby's condition by the funeral home and that funeral home also contacted the Clayton County Medical Examiner's Office on July 13th. Now Southern Regional Medical Center released a statement after the incident saying that the infant's death occurred in utero prior to delivery and decapitation. They also said that the doctor who delivered the baby Dr. Tracy St. Julian is not and has never been an employee at the hospital. An investigator was assigned to the case and they reached out to the GBI medical examiner's office to ask for help from his pediatric forensic pathologist team in performing the autopsy which took place uh, on July 14th. After reviewing the preliminary results of the autopsy, investigators reached out to state agencies overseeing the doctors and nurses who were on duty during the birth. So the Clayton County Medical Examiner determined that Travion Taylor's death was caused by a fracture dislocation with complete transection of the upper cervical spine and spinal cord, and also a rest of labor and fetal entrapment in the birth canal. Other contributing factors were pregnancy-induced diabetes and premature rupture of membranes. So the Clayton County Medical Examiner has determined that Travion Taylor's death was a homicide, which means that his death was caused by actions of another person. Now, the medical examiner did say that the case is still being investigated by the Clayton County Police Department with the possibility that it may be referred to the district attorney's office. Also, it accuses the hospital as well as the doctor of negligence and failure to inform them of what exactly happened with their child. They're asking for compensation and for someone to be held accountable. This is just so very sad. So very sad. This is absolutely devastating and horrific. Of course, here at the Black Hurt News, I'm sending my condolences out to Jessica Ross and Travion and their family. Someone needs to be held accountable. They need to be prosecuted to the furthest extent of the law. That doctor needs to speak and explain what the heck happened. And what does the hospital mean that she wasn't employed there? Maybe she was just delivering babies there, but you're responsible who for who's delivering babies at your hospital, ma'am or sir. I declare it's a disgrace. All right, players, put your thoughts. Just imagine them trying to beg pole and pussy pop out of this. You can't. There's no way. It's been ruled a homicide. Players, put them thoughts. This is Double D Mother for the Black Accurate News.